sorry, hello. Hi, hey. I'm Officer Costa with the Crystal Lake Police Department. Um, we're just talking to you because we got a, compl a couple complaints um, that you might have been swerving on the road. I saw the bottle of vodka that's in your driver's side of your door. Okay, right now you're being placed under arrest. You can't take my big soaks. So my parents buy those for me. You can't take those from me. My parents buy those for me, and I'm 18. Get them in the back seat. We'll just put it back in the car. How's that? No, you're gonna take it then. You can't take it. You have to give me twenty-seven dollars. Okay. So this is the I need to take the vape. No, okay. you can't. I, come on. You can't. I, listen, then give me twenty-seven dollars because I just paid all the. I paid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it in your car. The listen. more you fight with us, the longer we're gonna be Don't here. take it. Ali, you gotta stop playing games, okay? Don't take you it. You have to stop playing games. I okay. need it first. Well, you can have it. I can have it. I just want. Or it's gone seat. from you for five hours. Jesus. I have it. Can you please put it in my car? That's what she said you. No, because I told you not to hit it. What? She told me it was good. Yeah, but she also she told, told you not me to it hit was it. gonna go in my car. Please put it in my car. I just paid twenty-seven dollars for that. Who has my bag? Who has my bag? Who has my bag? Who has my bag? He's hitting her head. Who has my bag? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. No, I won't. You'll be fine. What's good world? It's your girl so now I'm back with another video. As you can see by the video we just watched, <sighs> vape is the new crack. I know, you're like, what it? Vape is the new crack. Let me explain. Stats show 53% of vape users who get addicted within the first 30 days of using. Doesn't seem like a lot, but keep in mind, half of these users came from smoking cigarettes, weed, and other drugs. Some just got influenced by friends at school or people that they know around to try it and got addicted with that one taste. They're even planning to ban it in the UK. That's how we know vaping is becoming a problem. People are too easily addicted. It's too accessible. Sometimes you don't even need an ID to purchase one. And it's cheap. Not all are cheap, but the basics are cheap. If you want an expensive one like a jewel, then you might pay about like 30 bucks. But even then, that cartridge lasts about a good month. And that's a problem because the fact that it's cheap and it lasts long gets people addicted. They feel like they can't survive everyday life without that stupid face. He's hitting her head. Yes, Who has my face? <laughs> I think vape needs a new crack. One, it's cheap, it's addictive, and everyone's doing it. They're normalizing vaping so much that you feel like a weirdo if you're not the one vaping as well. And I, that happened to me, like, you don't have a vape? Uh, no. Vaping is a problem. It's an epidemic. And a lot of people are getting sick and dying from it. Hi, my name is Naya. I'm 22 years old and I have stage two cancer. <laughs> And I made a video on this app talking about smoking and drinking and the consequences that it can have with smoking and drinking. I don't want them to have cancer like me. And I'm just really upset because that video has been up for two months and it's helped a lot of people from what I've known. It's helped a lot of people put down their vapes and their drinking. And I'm just so sad about it because TikTok, after two months, they said that it's violating community guidelines, so they took down the video. And I'm just sad about it because it was, like, helping people. And it was saving their lives of trying to become better. And TikTok says it's violating community guidelines. But they literally put it back up yesterday and then banded it again today. So it literally makes no sense. But it just breaks my heart because I just, I just want to help people. And like people just want to like ban my stuff when I'm, just, I just truly want to help people. That's all I want to do. I don't want to have cancer like me. I don't. And that's the whole reason why I was crying to people because I didn't know how important that their life is. I just don't want people to end up like me. And no, I did 
not get cancer from smoking or drinking. I'm just strictly doing it to let people know you can get these things from these harsh chemicals that you're putting in your body. Wow, I don't know why I'm crying. It's not that serious. This is the type of shit that people don't talk about on social media because it's like, you know, something you want to hide from other people. But I've been slowly building up my motivation to quit and today's the day. I actually have a whole graveyard of them. This isn't even half, there's more back there. I went to CVS and got myself some nicotine gum and some zero sugar candy if I get the fruit flavor cravings. Made myself a nice little tray with all the teas and different supplements and kombucha just so that I can try to curb the cravings. And I even got this cute Stanley dupe from TJ Maxx so I can drink more water. You might think I'm overreacting, but if you've ever tried nicotine, it's really freaking hard to quit. I did some research, and if you're having really bad withdrawals, you can put a couple drops of essential oil and do some breathing exercises to calm down. And if I just try to quit in silence, then I could probably just relapse in silence. I already told some of my closest friends that I'm gonna try to quit this year, and I want to follow through with it because I don't want to do the harmful stuff to my lungs anymore, you know? It's, it's not good for your skin, it's not good for your immune system. I just, want, I just want to stop. It's Tuesday, May 14th, 2024, and this is day one. Day one of me quitting. It's funny, but it's not funny. It's actually sad that consistent vape users make fun of other vape users who actually got sick from vaping. I really need my vape. Isn't it supposed to make you think, hey, maybe I should stop? No, they make it into a meme. It's different people every day crying, trying to influence this new generation to stop vaping, but nobody seems to want to take the message. What is vaping, you ask? Why is vaping so dangerous? Well, vape solutions contain diacetyl and formaldehyde, so when inhaled into the lungs, it can directly damage the lung sacs. This causes a condition called popcorn lung, which affects how your lungs transfer CO2 and get oxygen into your body. This is a serious condition that frequently requires hospitalization and can even result in death. Nicotine is an intense vasoconstrictor, and the nicotine content in vape solutions is largely unregulated. In addition to that, Vaping has become very socially acceptable, so you can pretty much vape anywhere, which increases the exposure of this unregulated nicotine solution. High nicotine exposure increases your risks of high blood pressure, consequently, heart attack and stroke. And finally, vape solutions contain carcinogens like formaldehyde, as well as toxic materials like lead and tin and nickel. These things are inhaled into the lungs and are very difficult if ever cleared from the body. Now look, your body, your rules, but we are just starting to understand both the short-term and the long-term effects of vaping. So educate yourself and make good decisions. It's getting to the point where elementary school kids and middle school kids are getting hands on vape. I can't get Logan to stop vaping. He won't listen to a word I say. Do you tell him all the bad things that can happen from vaping, like popcorn lung? I've tried everything. It's like I'm speaking a different language. Okay, why don't I try talking to him? All vaping is L Riz, bruh. That's low key bad for you, bro, and you ain't gonna get no bitches. You aren't Sigma if you vape. W, doctor! Bet. You're radical to the max, doctor! And starting to do it again. People consistently every day in schools have problems with this. They have those letters being sent to parents telling them to make sure their kids keep their vapes at home. It's getting that bad. Know someone who's dying drugs or drug overdose. Look at that. If that doesn't break the heart of every teacher in this room, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. You asked me that question when I was in middle school there when the big one kid in school raised their hand. Not that they weren't dying, but they weren't dying like they are today. We're in the worst public social health crisis our country's ever seen. And your generation, your generation is the target of the marijuana industry, of the vaping industry, of the alcohol industry, of the tobacco industry. And we have a problem. How many of you guys know a high school kid? It doesn't have to be. How many of y'all know a kid in high school? And I'm not asking you for their names yet, yeah? okay? Just hands. Could be anywhere. How many of y'all know a high school kid who drinks alcohol? How many of y'all know a high school kid who smokes weed? How many of y'all know a high school kid who vapes? Look at it. How many of y'all know a high school kid who vapes? 
assemblies about the effects and addiction drugs and vaping vaping and addiction is in the same category the fact that they have to do a whole school assembly to get kids from realizing the dangers of vaping and putting it in the same scale and conversation as addiction Not only is this vape addiction affecting schools it's affecting elders <laughs> believe it or not good grandparents if they're on the hip side they're probably vaping and if they're not vaping they're smoking weed we still need people around we still need our grandparents around i feel like i'm the only one who sees this a problem because it's so normalized it's funny because the whole point of vaping was for the tobacco and nicotine companies to make their money back after everyone finally got it through their head cigarettes is bad Cigarettes equals no. If we look back at the statistics, cigarettes purchases went down by 30% in the early 2020s, 2010s. So you know what they came up with in the 2020s to get that money back? Vapes. Guess who was the first consumers? Kids. This is a problem. There needs to be a bigger consequence of vaping than just the fact that it fucks your lungs up. And just hear me out. It's cause like, think about this. When alcohol, sure, it's bad for you, we all know that. Sniffing jazz powder is bad for you, we all know that, but we do it anyways. But the reason we can quit it sometimes is because of our actions. And we're like, oh my god, I wish I didn't drink so much last night because I embarrassed the fuck out of myself. Or I wish I didn't do that jazz powder. I told my deepest, darkest secrets to people I don't even know. But with vaping, you just live. And you just hit it, and it's just good, and you feel like shit. And there's no consequence. And you don't go home and mentally fucking think about it all day. You're just like, hmm, probably shouldn't. Going to anyways. Like, you know, it's just, there needs to be more consequence than just death. This is a problem. This is a problem. People are literally getting cancer from these vapes because it's different types of plastic. After a while and you don't change the cartridge, you smoke literal plastic i am reposting this here because i just assume that i have some followers on all platforms that happen to use these things this is an elf bar a legitimate elf bar not that that really matters uh yeah don't junkie puff your shit folks if it tastes like it's almost out of juice get a new one don't keep using it because you're gonna end up inhaling plastic literal like smoking plastic and other chemicals god knows is in there and it's a thing called popcorn lungs that's going around that's making this even 20 times worse. It's kids, little kids, teenagers, young adults in their 20s getting cancer because of vaping. That's really sad. And it's only been out, what, four or five years? It's disturbing. No one is talking about it. It's even more disturbing. Look at grandma. Grandma was over there having fun with that vape. She was tearing that vape up. My grandma getting lit up the vape. We need you, grandma. We need your wisdom. We still need you, grams. Get off that vape, please. Please, somebody save grandma. My advice, my thoughts. Parents, stay on top of your kids. If that means knowing who they're around, their parents, their way of life, and keeping them away from certain people, do that. If that means searching a bag in the middle of the night, do that. If that means distracting them when you look through their things, do that. Only for their safety before their health. Also, parents, if you know your grandma, your cousin, auntie, sister is vaping, please try to talk them out of it. I know they don't listen. They're going to do what they want. But if something bad happens, you can say, I tried to warn you. I hope this video makes you rethink your vaping habits, makes you go into recovery, and make you stop this whole epidemic. My name is Tsunami, and I sponsor this message.